just browsing, guys. not spelt like the real ruby. It's ruby with two e's. Ain't that get the Ain't that get to y'all. So if you see that in your store, just say, ain't that ghetto, okay? Just looking around. Nice little stuff in this store. I like that. stuff in here I like. Day. Because it's nice and warm right here. Nice and warm. It's really beautiful to be. Nice amount in that bottle, though. It's nice. Thank you. 
number two. Can I leave this here? Yeah. Number two. This mall is so dead, y'all. I like it because it's peaceful, but it's like a graveyard in here. You don't see people ever so often. They need to have um, a lot of the stores that the people really want to shop because with the internet people are not shopping out as much as they used to and it's a disgrace. I love going to the mall but a lot of stores are closing now and we only have, um, well the Sears over here is still open. You can see it down that way. Sears is still open. Macy's is open at this mall. But a lot of the other stores have closed down. They closed down. So, um, after a while, there's not going to be nowhere to come and shop with your family. This mall I haven't been to in a while. Um, they do have a decent food court. And like I said, it's peaceful here. But y'all sales and a lot of these jewelry stores around here. You know how to see nobody going in there. I don't, I don't know how they are staying open. It's always dead in sales another jewelry store down that way they never have any money either. maybe the prices have gotten just too high for people to I guess they buy for special occasions but it's a shame they have more sales they can get more people to come in there I mean sell some items that's affordable to everybody then you have to hire and things so, but you know, Zales ain't really no higher in store. It's just some of their stuff is overpriced. That's what the truth is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here at my doctor's office. I told you a while ago that I couldn't move my, I couldn't bend my thumb. So last time I came, they gave me a shot in the joints of my finger, of my thumb. And they said that probably was going to work. If it didn't work, I would have to have surgery. So I'm back today. It never did work, the shot. I'm hoping that they don't have to do surgery. And um, maybe they'll give me another shot. But I'll let you know when I come out how everything turned out. I probably won't release this video right away. Um, i got to give my hands a chance to heal up and um, I'm glad they're doing it right away I really am because I got so much to do in these next next month or so I have so much to do next two months so my hand is going to have to be right so it's a little minor surgery. They're going to have to cut into the tendons right here of my hand and straighten that out. The doctor himself had the surgery, so he said it's not bad. He said it will hurt while they're doing the surgery, so upset about that. But it is what it is. The older you get, 
like I said in previous videos, more things you have to deal with regarding your health. Life is not perfect. I'm seeing people at this medical center coming in and out with cancer, young people, and you just have to make life the best. You have to make the best of life because nothing is certain. And I'll be glad when I can move this thumb all the way, the way it's supposed to be moved. Hello, you all. I just have something to say. This medical center where I'm at right now, people are going in and out with dogs, some little dogs, some real big dogs, and it's beautiful dogs. I am an animal lover. I love animals, even though I don't have one right now. But I think it's unsanitary to bring a dog into a hospital. You have so many sick people. You have um, people who are also allergic to animals. I don't think it's a good idea. I've been seeing it all day. And some things are accepted at some hospitals that's not accepted at others. And I think it's not, it's not a good thing. You know, they coming in and out like, like it's nothing. Keep your dog home, you know? Keep your dog home, it's unnecessary. I think some of these people is actually taking a dog to visit people. I hope not, but it looks to be that way. So, um, this is a good hospital. It has a great reputation, but bringing animals to a hospital is not, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. You know, it, it's like anything goes now. It's not that I'm an, anti-animal, because I'm not, I love animals. But everything has to be, um, you have to use common sense with everything. You know, there's no reason why you can't keep your dog home or stay home till someone else can watch that dog. You bring them to the hospital. I saw one, he looked like a wolf. He was so pretty, so pretty. Then it was other ladies with little dogs. But, uh, mm -hmm. Kind of make you um, think differently about this hospital. Because if you're gonna have a lot of dogs, at least you should see someone constantly um, sanitize or mopping up or something. They're not even doing that. So that's my little rant for today. Talk to you later.